All right, good morning, and let us discuss doing the lab safety training at the Alexandria campus of NOVA. First of all, you should be in your Blackboard page, and when you look at your Blackboard courses for spring, there should be an Alexandria Science Lab Safety Chemistry Spring 2016 there. Once you get there, just click on that and open it, and it's going to take you to the Alexandria Chemistry Lab Safety page. Read all of the instructions. There are multiple things you need to do to be finished. First of all, it's going to tell you that you'll know when you're done because you can see the grades in your um, grades in Blackboard 2. First thing you're going to do is find yourself the lab section you're enrolled in. So click on the Indicate Lab section. It's going to be like a quiz, so you'll just have to click Continue on this and you're going to go down. Make sure that you have the right type of lab, Chem 101, Chem 111, Chem 112. Get the correct day, the correct time, and the correct teacher. Once you are done, you're going to click on Save and Submit. Once you have done that part, it is time to make sure that you understand the lab safety rules. There are multiple attached files. One is simply the safety rules. It's a PDF. Go ahead and open it, and when you look at these, it will discuss what you need to do. Wear your splash-proof goggles. Please note you'll be expelled if you do not have these. Wear closed-toed shoes. Again, you'll be expelled if you do not have closed-toed shoes, etc. Please re go through all of these, and these rules will be on the quiz that you're going to have to pass. So once you have looked and read through all of those, you can continue and go down to the safety presentation. Safety presentation is a PDF file, and it's going to talk about, again, all of the safety rules, reminding you the stuff that you need to do. So once you've finished reading that, you can look at the assumption of risk. The assumption of risk says that you have taken and you have looked at all the safety regulations, and you're going to well, first of all, we're going to try to update this file because this is January 2015, but you're going to follow all the safety rules in um, the lab. And if you choose not to, then any accidents that occur will be your issues and your fault, not ours. Continuing, you will take the lab safety quiz. You must pass with at least an 80. Once you have taken the lab safety quiz, you're going to complete your online acceptance. And this just says that you are going to agree to follow the safety rules, that, that you have read and understood these, and you will need to save and submit that. Once you have done that, you're almost done. All you have to do is let us know. Then if you are 18 or older, then you're going to agree that you're 18 or older and sign with the student electronic signature. If you are younger than 18, a parent or guardian must sign, and you will click here. You'll give us your current address so we have all of your information. How do you know when you're done? You know when you're done because when you go into your lab section or into the lab section for um, your um, course, your scores will be listed. You will have, um, for example, it will say that which section you're in and your score will be the lab that you section that you are in. You'll look at the safety quiz and it's going to be at least 80%. Now note these are the grades on this particular lab safety. It is not in your Blackboard lab course. It's in the Alexandria Chemistry Lab Safety Blackboard course. All of this should be in there with a check mark and the 100%. At this point, you are done and you can finish this up, close it out, and you'll be ready for lab safety. Lab safety needs to be completed prior to the first actual lab that we have.